Hi, I'm Pete Warden, and I'm going to show you how to create your own Hadoop data processing job using Amazon's Elastic MapReduce service. So far, I've talked you through creating the two scripts that make up a streaming MapReduce job and shown you how to upload those scripts and your input data to S3. Now I'm going to walk you through how to kick off that job. To get started, switch over to your browser and go to https console.aws.amazon.com Sign into the console and then once you're signed in click on the Amazon Elastic MapReduce tab. The first choice you'll have to make is which region you want to run your instances in. If your S3 storage is in the US, then you'll want one of the US regions. And because I found it less used and less congested, I'm actually going to choose the West region. Now click on Create New Job Flow to start the wizard that will guide us through setting up a new job. On this screen, create a name for your job. Since I often need to rerun similar jobs multiple times, I usually append a number to the end of the descriptive name so I can keep track of which the latest one is. On the same screen, we need to pick what type of job we're creating. To use the scripts we've built, we need to pick Streaming, and then click Continue to work on the rest of the setup. Here, you'll need to enter the S3 locations for the buckets containing the input data and scripts, and the bucket to hold the output data. Instead of using MR for idiots as I'm doing here for the prefix, use the project name you've chosen for your own buckets. You don't need to enter anything in the extra argument box for this example, but it's incredibly useful when you start to create more advanced jobs. It allows you to pass any Hadoop command line options directly to the system, which really opens the door to things like multiple input folders, using gzipped input files and really fine-grained control over the whole process. Click continue and you'll find yourself on the final input screen where you'll pick the number and type of machines your job will run on. One big catch with Elastic MapReduce is that even if your job fails in the first few seconds, you're often charged to the nearest hour rounded up. That means if you create a buggy job and specify 100 machines, you can get charged for hundreds of hours of instance usage, even if things fail instantly. To avoid that horrible fate, I always do test runs of all my jobs with just a single machine first to make sure there's no obvious errors before I run it on a cluster. In this case, we only have a tiny set of data anyway, so we only need a single machine. The other choice is what machine type to use. I strongly recommend sticking to a small instance whenever possible since they're so much cheaper than the higher spec machines. You get a lot more bang for your buck using a larger number of crappier machines than a smaller set of better ones. For the same price as 25 of the large instant types, you can rent 100 of the small. And incidentally, that 100 machine cluster costs just $10 an hour. That blows my mind that you can build a massive computing cluster like that for minimum wage rates. For this job, leave the key pair setting at the default, but do enable debugging and enter the name of a bucket to store the log files in. Leave the Hadoop 
debugging option at no for now. Click continue and you'll see a confirmation screen listing the settings you've entered. Double check the bucket names. That's the part I most often mess up. If you're happy once you've reviewed those settings, click create job flow and the job will be started. Click close on the final screen and then hit the refresh button to ensure that your job shows up in the list. If you've messed up something that's checked during setup, you'll see the state column show failed. And clicking on it will show further information. Usually you can get an error message from the last state change reason field. But, looking at our latest job, it looks like things went well during the setup, so the state is showing up as starting. At this point, I often go and make myself a cup of tea, as it can take several minutes just to create the instances that will perform the processing. Eventually, you'll look up and see the magic word completed in the state column. If you now switch over to Bucket Explorer and select your output location, with any luck, you should see a file called part 0000. 000 Zero, zero, zero. If you download that to your local machine and find it in the finder and then drag it to Xcode, voila! There's the output from your first Elastic MapReduce job. Congratulations!